So in this episode of Quick Hacks, we're going to be dealing with hip bursitis. So hip bursitis, we're talking about the inflammation of the bursa sac that is between your pelvis and your femur or thigh bone. And for whatever reason, that area is getting inflamed. So itis is the Latin suffix for inflammation. Bursa is that nice cushion that occurs between the bones so that you're not always jamming down. But if that starts getting inflamed, it doesn't allow for a lot of space inside the joint itself. So every step you take, every run you do, every time you get to the point where you need to move through the hip joint, which is just about any time, then there isn't enough space. Well, then that just creates more inflammation. So what if we were to increase the space within the hip joint? Now, before we do this, I need to put the disclaimer out that I'm not a doctor, a physical therapist, chiropractor even. I'm just a guy that likes movement. And what I've found is as we move the body, good things tend to happen. So before you do this, make sure you consult, consult your physician or your primary care provider to make sure that this is appropriate for you. What I have here is a thick rubber band. It's about three feet in length and about an inch in thickness or width. If you don't happen to have one of these, an easy suggestion is to go to your local bike shop, go back to the maintenance area and ask them if they've got any old inner tubes. Or if you want a brand new one, you can purchase one yourself. But if you just want one that's free, most of the time the bike shops will just give you the old inner tube and you can do the same thing. Or if you do see a physical therapist and they've given you TheraBands, the resistance bands, you could use the same thing. What I'm going to do here is I'm first going to put my heel inside the rubber band and I'm going to wrap one end across the roof of my foot and then wrap the other one. So I've created this X on the roof of my foot. From the anchor point, I'm just going to inch my body away and of course, you could use the foot post of your bed or uh, a fairly heavy table. Uh, anything that's not going to come flying at you is really the key here. Just by moving back here, you can see how my leg is getting pulled toward that rubber band. So we're doing what's called distracting the joint. We're trying to create space there. I can stay in a seated position. However, I'm going to opt to lie down here. And in this position, I'm just going to try and allow my hip to relax. And that rubber is just continually putting that hip in a state of traction, opening up the space. I could begin doing some gentle rotation of my entire leg, internally and externally rotating. I could try and hike the hip up and then drop it down, engaging the muscles and then relaxing and stretching. And once that opens up, I might want to just move back a little bit further and see if I can't get a little bit more distraction. Any of these actions here may prove to be just enough to release some of the pent up compression that is here and create some more elongation in the surrounding tissue. and Therefore, create some space in the hip joint itself. Then, carefully come on up and get a sense of how does that hip feel. Maybe walk around a little bit. Did that release some of the symptoms that you're feeling due to the inflammation? Now, if it did, that's wonderful. You've got a tool at your disposal now, and you may want to go back to it on a regular basis, whether once a day, twice a day, or maybe when you're just feeling symptomatic. But remember, that may not be the underlying problem of what's going on in your body, it may be a symptom, such as if you're trying to get off a sprained ankle, you may shift more weight onto that hip, and over time, well, those symptoms may appear. So there's a whole bunch of underlying reasons that could be occurring. This is not addressing any of them. This is just simply trying to alleviate the symptom that you're encountering with that hip bursitis. I hope it helps. Let me know. Before you go, our new book, Return to Center, breaks down everything we did today and a whole lot more. So check it out at rockysnyder.com. Our link is on our page too. If you still haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. Thanks for watching.